This conference will now be recorded. Yeah, so here if I write Jenkins, S-C-H-E, viewer, pseudolim, I'll get two tutorials. And which is here. Okay, this is an important URL here. So which are the options we have available for scheduling? So let's understand this way. So these are the options available uh, in Jenkins for scheduling the jobs. Now the first option is, please read this. The moment you read it, you'll understand that. If you want to start the job at a certain time, if you want to fix the time, so that option, what we call it, is build periodically. Okay. Have you have you used this? Have I have I used this option? Anyone? All of you? Yes. Yeah. So look at this, yes. this option which we have. Yeah. So if you go to the any jobs, configurations, and triggers, here build periodically. This is the option I'm talking about. So I, I have used it already. You know that how to is nothing but a crawl. Okay. Now second option is very interesting. Here we are saying, hey, build the job at a certain time that is a that's the thing you you're setting at a time and the, at the time the job will be triggering but 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 build only when there is a code change see having a build for 30 minutes or one hour or whatever it is without a source code change is meaningless because you are doing the same build which you did earlier but can we have a something like a build a job but trigger the job only if there is a code change. If there is no code changes, then don't do that. So that option, aka, we call it Polisium. So here, if you see that here, Polisium, which is option again, you have to write a cron here, or you know that uh, this cron format, or maybe some hard coding is there here. So you can use it, that one also. So yeah, this is a Polisium. Now, how do know how do Jenkins know there is a changes or not so they will compare with the last build actually so if you go to my build job let me show you the build one and here you go and see the changes here so there's no changes here okay now uh, just for the sake of uh, building so what I will do build I'll configure the policy so go to the policy and here star star no, not this one policy star 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 this is the things and save it and build now and refresh okay so build i just See, there's no changes. And I have, did I did the build now? Just a minute. Build cancel, I'm canceling. Let it automatically happen. Okay. So I cancel out. Scan, I will remove is creating a loop, I guess. This is it. Huh. So I disable this. Now it's only build. Okay and build i do the code changes so look at the last build which you have 54 and after that there's no trigger happen but what i'll do the code changes i'll do so for that for that where's my favorite file ah, here it is so this file i modify a lot to see the changes. I modify the code, commit, and now we'll have to wait for C54. I'm not clicking. Wait minute, wait up to the one minute because I set 
स्टार 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 See here, fifty five got triggered automatically, and then see the changes. Changes has not come. Ah, refresh issue. Now it has come. Understood all of you? Yes. So this is the second option which we have. Now this is the third option. So what is the third option? So trigger using command line. or script and this we call it a trigger built remotely so for that these options which you can see here uh go to the build so listen let's create one fake job that will be easy for us create test uh, fake 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 job and here it will take less of time so here this is a fake job configurations trigger and here you see correct now all of you so these options which we have for this how do we do that so many ways are uh, there to do that uh, that's the reason i can you can uh, refer this one uh, many things are there something will work something will not work but this command will work for sure because i tried last time and how do you configure it all the screenshot you have it right? so in this one i'm preparing it so what is your username rajesh this is the token you need it so did we get the token let me generate so for that just okay, go to configurations connection now go to configure and api to this is for cmd or api whatever it is generate this token it's here oops it's not copied actually huh. okay let me copy it manually because not copying at all Okay, so this is the copy. Let me paste it here, and then now this URL you have to change. So if you look at the pattern, uh, pattern is double spoon fake job. So this is the URL. So what to do? So till here you have to change build and this one let it be. So here you have it. And remember, what is the last job for the fake? No. So go to the curl. So let me see in Windows you have a curl or not. You have it. I did this once. Refresh. Ah. Uh, They missing. Something is missing, right? Last second. zero seconds. Oh, They okay. missing. Ah. Uh, okay. So let me do the screen. Ah, yeah. One time, two time, three times, four time. I just did few times. And refresh. See here. And done. okay so this is also you can uh, do that as well so this is a one options which is available here triggered this job see here understand that this line trigger this job if other jobs are triggered so here let's say fake is there and let me create one more fake so here new item pick one and uh, creating this one fixture so here if i am saying 
trigger fake if someone trigger the fake one so how do i do that so go to the fake configurations and trigger see here this one so here i have to say fake one save it so now if anyhow the fake one get triggered and that do the job then fake one will be there so here build now and see the fake one also got built so this is the fifth option which we have now this is something which is very good uh, this five and six both are similar but one is with the github and one with the git a bit of it so here says trigger a job when there is a push into github understand that there is a push into github so if you understand this way ms paint uh, this is a let's create an image you will understand easy so this is a jenkins this is a jenkins and after that this is a uh, your laptop this is you and this is a github github so here i'm saying trigger a job where job this job when there is a push push happens from here to here right correct now push happen to here to here uh into the github so tell me who will trigger this job all of you who would trigger this job? Our, our all. GitHub, right? Because this guy only detect the push activity. So in this case, GitHub should trigger this job. And that is where the web hooks you can use it. GitHub web hooks. So this is account, this is the integration you have to do. Now, how do you do that? So this process is a little long. I'll share with you, you can do offline and that is here okay so this is the steps you have to do so this is the image and here is all the step number one configure step number two all this thing you have to do and step number three and followed by step number four this you have to take care of a little bit this is the push command for the kit so this is also it's available which you can do that this is with the bit bucket now this one is trigger another job after this job so this did we try this one any one of you yes upstream now yeah. yeah so this we tried out and trigger a jenkins job using command line so this one which i taught you this is was with the api actually uh okay and uh, command line you can also try there's a cli for it so i use with the curl but cli is also there everything which i'm showing you that you have a cli how so for that uh i'll show you this one one go to the managing things uh where's the cli here it is so you have to use cli for it so how do you use it uh simple way uh, this CLI you have to download. So let me download this. Let me show you this one. Save it. And uh, I'll just download here. And Java it should be installed to run the CLI. So this is the command for doing that. So if you want to trigger any job, so build. See here, build. And this is the URL. This is the command. Value, sorry. So here, this is my server build what is the job name these are the parameters if you want so job build job what job so job is uh, let me create one job at the high level so it will be easy for me test and fake job i'm creating at the high level test so here this one so this command also you can work for it but there's a problem in this command and the problem is login is not there so how do we get the login so for that 
how to log in i will ask uh, jenkins only how do i log in so you see that login is not there but there's an option which is there and that i know is called who am i no uh, where is that Oh, just a second. I forgot the command. So I need to search for it. And searching at my own site. And here it is. So the command was uh, just. Ah, so command was all these options. So who am I? So can I do that? So so command is after the so auth and my key is this one oh my this command will help you to log in all the time you have to buy this oh my I'm able to access your okay so this is true this error is correct so run from here so now this command will help you to see that whether login is done or not and after that you can do build and the job name cached that's all so basically theoretically you can do uh, you know many things with the command line so there are lots of ways are there guys lots of ways so this is a test look at the job test and test enter it will slow. See here. Done. Understood all of you? Hello? Yes. yes right. So guys, yeah. So three features of Jenkins, which I said. Integration I showed you. Scheduling I showed you. Feedback. So feedback means what? Feedback means email or chat. I don't know what chat you are using. Uh, chat uh, is like uh, many people use Slack, many people use Teams, many people use uh, Skype also. Depends. So what you have to do? Nothing. I think you know this rule. Install plugin, configure a plugin, use plugin. So go and uh, manage plugins, uh, available plugins, Slack. I know that Slack is not installed, so I'm installing it. Uh, Teams, you want to install it. So, Team 360. Uh, here it is. Okay. So, mail server has been installed, so I'm not installing. So, yeah, these are the install it. After that, you configure it. So, go to the configurations and here search for Slack. And here, configure it. And after that, use in the job. So let's say job and post build action. Here you see Slack options will be there. Here it is. See when to send a chat message. Okay. So now you have to send an email also. This is the email notification I used. There's one advanced email also, which is called ext editable email notifications. So here you can have a lot of options other in the email. Customize that email body, subject, to list, and stuff like that. So this is the stuff. Now you have to set up SMTP server also. So where to go? Manage Jenkins configuration system. Here if you search SMTP, two, two email plugins are there. So you have a SMTP server which is a this is the advanced one and there is a basic one also here 
So two plugins for the sending an email. So both the plugin, you have an email address. I mean SMTP server configuration, which you can do that. So Jenkins will send an email also. So like that. Teams uh, is not gone into the here. Uh, team setup is not done here. So you have you have this one with the job itself. So if you see that here, look at this source code management. Here it is. So here you can configure the team and you can check this out. So this is the way authentic. Uh, this is the way you can get the feedback. So yes, SMTP configuration or Slack configuration or team configuration and after that, use it. That's all. More questions, guys, here? All of you? No, Rajesh. Okay, so now here I'm going to talk about some of the, uh, you know, some of the options which we have, which is available uh, for UI part. And this is called feedback using pipeline so do you know pipeline all of you pipeline so guys i have been telling you you have to write a code for product you need to write a code for testing the product you need to write a code for infrastructure you need to write a code for deployment you need to write a code for ci also so deployment jeng ansible I taught you for infrastructure Terraform. I taught you so for pipeline. We need to learn some tools also. So some uh, coding also. So this is called uh, Jenkins file. So how do you know that uh, little bit of detail? So here you have Jenkins pipeline. Okay. So now I'll teach you whatever I did know. I'll teach you the coding for it so this is the tutorial so for the pipeline so now whatever i did from last two and a half hours or something we will learn coding for it that's called pipeline pipeline means visualization basically actually you know honestly speaking i created a pipeline already but we did not enjoy the visualizations what was the pipeline by the way did you notice that what was the pipeline All of you? Fake. All of you? Fake. Yeah. Uh, we connected no each other, so that was called pipeline. The, yeah, the post, the post activities, right? Right. Yeah. I connected my job from scan to build, build to the up, up, up. That's called pipeline. Okay, that's fine. But visualization was not there, means graph was not there. this kind of graph. See, check out, build, test, staging, all this thing. So this graph was not there. This one, which you see, is a blue ocean, actually. This one is Jenkins code, which I'm teaching. This one. So why pipeline is important? Simple, because we are integrating everything. So visualization is important. So put it up, everything in pipeline, and uh, means basically integration everything and you get the results done so you don't have to wait for the feedback immediate feedback remember the concept is i talk, talked about it immediate feedback is important so if you put it in a pipeline everything the feedback will be faster that's all so how do you do that uh, pipeline i mean how do you do coding so we store the code in jenkins file okay jenkins file now you need to have a Jenkins Blue Ocean also is uh, you can use for that, and you can define the pipeline through Blue Ocean. This one I am showing you right now uh, through the classic UI. So how do you write a code? So there's a basically two types of code we have in Jenkins file. One is a declarative, one is a scripted. So any code which you see starting with a pipeline that is a declarative. Any code which is starting with a node. Okay, something like uh, see here, node. So this is the declarative pipeline and this is a scripted pipeline. Okay, you have to practice it, just that's what it will make a perfect, uh, you know, things. So this is the declarative, any you can use this one also. This is the scripted. Okay, 
so now what exactly you have so the pipeline is something like we have to stage create a stage for it so let me create a stage for it so if you see that here you can say <clears throat> this is a pipeline build pipeline then ut pipeline then package pipeline then archive pipeline like that so this is the pipeline so you should send the code from here and output should be final output should be here in between everything should be automated are you understanding all of you yes yes Where are you? so yes. in this pipeline this we call it a stage 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 so like that if you see that here uh, each pipeline code i'm just trying to make you comfortable see here look at this so one is a scripted one is a declarative both the code examples are here so here no matter which one you write so you have a stage 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 and each stage whatever the code you want to steps you want to write you can write here okay this is empty right now it's so like so this is the build uh, declarative this is the scripted so that is how is a declarative language which we we have to write. So more or less you need to understand what is a pipeline concept, node concept, stage concept, and step concept. And this is how you do that. See here, there's some explanation also. So now let me show you one code actually, which you'll understand easily. And if you will not understand easily, that means you did not see my demo. And this is the JKS file. Are you able to see that? The same project I have used it. Here is a code for it. Jenkins file. The name can be anything, but most of the time we have a uh, Jenkins file actually. Here I have one, so forget about it. So guys, tell me here. By the way, tell me one thing. This is a scripted uh, pipeline or declarative one? I forgot the concept. Scripted. 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 Now. This is the one stage. This is one stage. This is one stage. And this one stage and this one stage. So that means it's a five stage right now. The patient built time. So here you see the git, right? This is and then URL for it. This is the plugin actually. Okay. This is the plugin. And this is the variable definition variable. Here you are setting the value. Tool means you know what? What is a tool means? Any guesses? Any guesses? Any package you want to install? No, no. Tool means global tool configuration. So here, this is the they are talking about. And tool Maven means the name of it. Do you have any name called Maven? So here, see Rajesh Maven is there, not Maven. So I'll rename it here so my script will not fail. Save it. Now it's matching. Here also matching. So here you set the one variable. You set the value. Plugin git. Check out the code. This is the preparation stage. Now build stage. So here you have a build stage and conditioning if it's Unix. If the node is Unix, run this command. Else run this command. What is the SS stand for and bat stand for? Any idea? As it's for uh, cell commands and bad for Windows commands. Yeah, these are the uh, builders actually. You go to the any jobs, build step. SH means this one. Shell means this one. Bat means this one. Okay, so calling that one and then calling that variable value and then again same thing compile compile. So this. How do I do, uh, Rajesh? Yeah, how do I know that uh, the shell command total is there anywhere written it is in the for the build? Uh, how do I know what? The command, the for, line number 14 command. How how can I frame that command? Okay, so that's what I'm saying. Uh, each plugin has a, some shortcut in code. So best way to know that, yeah, that's a good question. So best way to know that don't go anywhere just type jenkins 
pipeline books that's all okay that's a one way because you like uh, google so i'm telling you google and here is a like a it's a whole book actually written on the same coding style okay so here you can you know but now you say rajesh i don't want to read it i'm lazy person so if you're lazy person there's one more place okay so this place is widget so go to the create item this is pipe and select this pipeline second click ok and now save it so now you go save it and after that you see the pipeline syntax can you see all of you yes yes, yes. yes. click yes. on a pipeline syntax and we want declarative or scripting so here snippet generator it is for the uh, for just a minute for what huh so snippet generated for scripted declarative for declarative this one so snippet and you generate what you want so you whatever you want select for example you said you want uh, uh, or uh, shell bat, for shell ah, bad 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 okay and you want this or shell you want right so shell shell do you see shell somewhere here it is which shell deploy dot sh and generate a script here it is so you have a ui also you have a books also it's a gradual learning so don't uh, don't worry slowly you learn and get it make sense yeah okay so i was talking about something else what was that huh so here there's a scripting which is there conditioning and you are building here same code we are copying pasting here test same code packages by the way anyone recall this anyone have idea this what exactly i'm doing storing the xml file that is did, we, file did, I, did i show the, you the ui before yes the, the reports right yeah so it's only one command is there that's all and here for archiving the build so yeah these are the steps we call it step one step two step 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 like that you will write it don't worry slowly you'll get it so now i'm copying this whole code this is a scripted one and go for dashboard go for my pipeline and and here click on this click ok pipeline okay these are the option you will understand that because it's common part of it and here you can embed the code here or you can also call it from the scm scm means from git and all but right now i'm directly embedding it so groovy file save it and build so this is your pipeline so this is one more way to share the feedback with you you can send an email chat and pipeline and this is people call it do you know pipeline coding in jenkins because everywhere you required to do the coding and this is something called pipeline are you understanding all of them? yes yeah yes yes so you need to learn how to write this code by the way spend some time i've written a good tutorial here i shared with you uh, but yeah you have to practice also okay so now what to do so let's move on so here what i'm going to do some of the admin options i am going to talk about so now you know the configuration system few options i showed you i installed a few configure few tools also install a few plugins also how do you add the nodes actually so for the adding a nodes is very simple uh, first thing adding a node is like a java based node you have to have a machines where you have a java installed at least a jre so any nodes you can make it uh, as like a, as like a agent for 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 uh, jenkins so for this here IP address both. I'm just logging to one of the machines. 
which I'll make a node actually. So it's a centos sudo okay cd tmp exit cd tmp and uh, mkdr ws or jenkins cd jenkins and here pwd so this one i want to make it as a this server i want to make it as agents so let's say here click a new agent linux one permanent agent click okay now whether it's a uh, uh, what is the root directory so root directory is this one and what is the labels and all sub launch method ssh or there are multiple methods are there so i'm adding linux ssh what is a host so host is this one what is the username and password so password uh, this is i have a key don't have a password so private key and ec send us so send us username and enter key directly and key is here and this is the key password also you can use it but i have a key right now copy this key password is not required and for this send to us and save it and this uh, is creating trouble so i'll just save done so this machine is connected you see so this is how you connect this you can have an ip address some username some password of keys and some locations and you add it just like that understood all of you the key is what you have generated already uh, it's aws you know for login to that linux okay, the AWS key. okay fine if it is not the aws key then how do we generate Pass, uh, either we just use it as Pass, password you can use password for the node i see i'll show okay. you mm -hmm. uh, rajesh uh, rajesh why do we require this uh, node actually uh, because discuss no uh, this is a server uh, this is jenkins server and here is a web part this you connect and work for this but whatever your job configurations actually running in the node and that when you set up a jenkins server one node you get it that was uh, i was showing you here um, built-in node here okay so but this cannot hold all the build operations so for that more nodes need to be added as part of it. so i have a two nodes right that means two parallel four five six ten parallel jobs you can run it based on executors and stuff like that. yeah and uh, how did you go to that uh, creation of the nodes from where yeah. which part yeah nodes. no no this Add screen nodes. this screen how did you get it manage jenkins everything you have in manage. the manage in, okay manage nodes yeah, yeah. yeah if password can be shown hello yeah, with the password, please. Password, same, same steps. So I'll plan next to permanent node. Click OK. Uh, let's say working directory. Let's say working directory is this one only. And then, and mm -hmm. what is this SSH? So here SSH, post IP address. So this is the IP address. And here uh, password. So click here. And here username password, username, center is password. I don't know. Take password I'm giving, okay? And password. Save it. Now this one will be used and, and save it. Many other softens of there. So Linux 2 will not work because password is wrong. Okay. 
got it okay mm -hmm. so c linux 2 is not working because password i have not set so this is the no, the question is you added this but how to use it so for that what you have to do go to the test job configuration the moment you add extra node there will be an options will be enabled here read it 10 times because most of the time people buzz me on whatsapp saying that i have added a nodes but i don't know where to use it restrict where this job so now clients One, save it. Build now. Build number two. Can you see console output? Can you see this line? Are you understanding all of you? Yeah. So guys, here in the manage Jenkins, you have a users also you can add it. How to add users? I don't think so. I should teach you. Just simple. User and password. Create user and password. But how do you add access? So here you have to give access to this one. Global security. Global configure global security. So if you see that here in the global security. Sorry. Uh, there's a UI change actually. Uh, No, 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 no. Just a second, hold on. I think this is a configure global security. So here, what you can do uh, here, few options are changed. So where is that? Manage credential. That is all the password which is stored here will be there all users and uh, I think it should be this one only but maybe I'm rushing ah okay sorry my bad i was rushing the ui got changed actually so here authentications means how to log in so you can attach to the ldap also and user own database which is selected right now but how to add a user access that is what you can do on authorizations so here actually earlier it was a checkbox and now it's a list so they have changed the entire ui so here authorizations uh, here right now by default is selected logged in users can do anything you understand that one but if you want to be a specific you access then you have to select the matrix waves or project base matrix base and here you I need to add so I have not added any users so let me do it so here Rajesh is there right I'm going to add Raju Raju one two three Raju one two three Raju and Raju at the rate of Raju.com and create one user I created, one user what admin access in which I'm having. So if I go for manage Jenkins global configuration system, and here I say authorization matrix base, and here I add a user Rajesh and Raju. And Raju Rajesh, I'm giving all access administration access. Raju, I'm giving no access or maybe some view access or something like that okay and save it and log out raju raju one two three see log out rajesh rajesh one two three log out. so this is the way you can also manage the access and get going are you understanding all of you yeah. Yeah, yeah. So these are the informational uh, options. Uh, I think this is for informations. Some troubleshooting and CLI talked about it. Script here you can write a groupy script. Uh, this is a wonderful thing actually. And if you are in a if you are in a project where the people are 
looking for coding for everything then i think this is the place for you so you have to write a groovy script this is the example of groovy script and it will list out all the plugins which stored plugins actually okay so this simple groovy script run it and you see that output all these plugins which i have stored right so like that you may write a uh, lots of groovy script and run it lots of system automation can be done through that okay any other questions guys uh, rajesh can you go to that page once where you know uh, where uh, all uh, uh, plugins are installed uh, uh, that installation manage, page manage yeah. jenkins yeah manage jenkins, jenkins. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. one second no no go back go back there was uh, manage jenkins click on the manage jenkins hmm. yeah this global tool configuration this uh, could you please let me know global tool uh, configuration. see i was creating one trouble for you so let's say i will ask you uh durga i need 10 version of maven five version of uh, gradle uh, five version of java how do you deal with it you can't install any system man so here you have to configure it or version got it so i set it up one scanner and for me i set up a maven only one so you can set a more maven here you can select a main more maven and like that. Mm -hmm. So where do oh, yeah where do uh, i can understand that scanner is required mm -hmm. how can i understand otherwise like uh, how can i understand that scanner is required for this 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 there's no other formula than knowing the sonar cube so in that in your case you have to learn sonar cube plus a uh, else uh, it'll be new world for you because you want to understand any failed set in that case okay. remember this is the last tool in in a pre-production for you to learn mm. got it more questions guys okay so we'll do one thing uh we'll wrap up the session now now there is one options again uh, those who wants to continue the lab Okay, uh, we'll have a one hour lunch break now. Uh, Durga will have a lunch break one uh, now itself. Okay, 12.30 to 1.30. Okay, so we'll have a lunch break and uh, those uh, who are- Rajesh, Rajesh yeah. actually uh, people are